Hey y'all, welcome back to the deep end. This week, we are in the weeds. Let me ask you something. If I were to cut this weed at its base, is it gone for good? No, because the roots of that weed live well below the surface, right? Just waiting to spring up again. So if you wanna get the weed, you gotta get the roots. Jesus says something similar in the Gospel of Matthew in chapters five and six. Now, it's important to note that the Gospel of Matthew was written for a specific audience, the first century Jew, who had a choice to make to follow the religious leaders of the day, the Pharisees, or to follow Jesus, who often stood in stark contrast to the Pharisees. So the Pharisees believed that one could be made righteous or holy or pure before the Lord by following the letter of the law, by keeping God's commandments, by honoring the religious standards of the day, by making the right sacrifices and attending the right festivals. Do all of that, the Pharisees said, and you can become holy, righteous, pure in God's eyes. And Jesus says, You've missed the point, guys. It's not just about the letter of the law, it's the spirit of the law. Listen to what he has to say in Matthew 5, verse 21. You have heard that the ancients were told, you shall not commit murder, and whoever commits murder shall be liable to the court. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be guilty before the court. Anyone who's just angry with his brother was guilty of murder. Jesus goes on to say in verse 27, you have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Jesus is going well below the surface of the act to the root of the act. And he is saying righteousness is lived out in our hearts. You know, it's pretty easy in this world to put on a good face, to put on a good show. After all, most of us aren't murderers. Most of us haven't taken up with someone else's spouse. If we say the right things, like I love Jesus, and do the right things, like go to church maybe multiple times a week, then we're living righteous lives, right? We're fairly sinless, weedless lives. Wrong. Because Jesus is saying it's not about what the world sees in your life, or even what you and I see in one another's lives. Righteousness is about what he sees in our hearts. Are you willing to go there with him to get to the root of sin, to take a look at the greed, the lust, the anger, the bitterness, the root of sin that lies within all of our hearts? You know, one of my favorite verses in all of scripture is in Jeremiah uh, chapter 17. Starting at verse 7, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is the Lord. For he will be like a tree planted by the water that extends its roots by a stream. And will not fear when the heat comes, but its leaves will be green. And it will not be anxious in a year of drought, nor cease to yield fruit. Something is going to take root in our heart, folks. Will it be self-righteousness or will it be righteousness in the Lord? I know what I choose, righteousness in the Lord. I want to be Jeremiah's tree. What about you? Thanks for joining us in the deep end and in the weeds this week. We'll see you next week.